tonight on Real True Global Hunting, we're hunting in Hungary with Tamas and Wanderha as he looks to take a robot during the rut with a bow. Hungary is one of the most beautiful countries in Europe and has a wealth of hunting history and heritage. The capital city Budapest is the gateway to this beautiful nation and offers plenty of history for itself. Tamas and his team at Wonderheart have provided us with plenty of amazing hunting adventures over the last few years and there's been some incredible films created in this part of the world. A very in Harford has taken wild boar, red stags, fallow box, and robots. He's even taken wild boar with an air rifle. Myself and Steve Wilde have also experienced the beauty of Hungary and I took my very first wild boar here with Wonderheart. Whilst Wildy took a beautiful robot. Hungary is one of our favourite hunting destinations here at Team Wild. As a combination of beautiful countryside, strong, healthy game and a warm welcome always ensures the trip is enjoyable and memorable. Over the last three years, we've also followed Tamas on his own Hungarian hunts. And today, he's trying something pretty special. Most robots are taken here with a rifle, but Tamas is heading out today with his trusty bow. Bow hunting offers a new, exciting challenge for any hunter, as it requires either stalking to within 50 yards of a buck or calling them into that range. Both are big challenges for any hunter. Also hunting with Tamas is his good friend of Wonderheart and guide Peter. Peter knows these parts like the back of his hand and has years of hunting experience behind him. Whilst Tamas hunts with his bow, Peter will be calling the box and looking to take his own box with his trusted rifle. We are in Hungary on the Hungarian Great Plain. The reason why we are here because this is this time of the year is the middle of the Roebuck rut and the Great Plain is the best for Roebuck hunting because the, the soil is very rich, lots of crops everywhere, so the perfect place to grow big Roebuck trophies. But we try a bit more exciting, try with bow and arrow. I, I use a, a bear and a key bow today. I did some practicing on the target. I'm pretty happy, so I think I'm ready for, for Roebuck. Hungarian summer days are long and very hot. Here on the Great Plains, cover can be sparse. So, the bucks lay up during the day and move during the first and last hours of light, when the air is at its coolest. Tamas and Peter head out mid-afternoon to get into a position before the bucks begin to move. On the edge of this wooded area, they can see across the fields ahead and hopefully Peter can call in a nice buck. We are on our, our spot. Peter, professional hunter spot, he knows a fixed buck here and he just spotted a real kid. So somewhere around the, the dirt and the faintly the buck as well. So 
I know the boys. Shoot straight. The buck is here. We need a little bit of luck for the success. They wait. And the sun begins to fade. A road day breaks from cover and heads across the open field. Hopefully, there's a buck nearby. Peter calls and Tamas prepares a bow. Right, it was very intense. Peter caught in a buck. It was really close, but it didn't stop for a second. So I, I had no chance. I was on the target, but with bow arrow, about 30 yards moving target is, is not sure, so I didn't shoot. Rather, you know, avoid the wounding, so he knows another buck here, so he's still waiting. A few moments later, and a buck comes running out into the middle of the field. He reaches a doe, charged up, but doesn't offer a shot. in the field and he hasn't been spooked but he's not close enough for a shot and there's no cover for Tamas to advance closer so now it's a waiting game as the light begins to fade the buck won't leave the doe's side time can be the enemy here and before you know it the sun has faded however tomorrow is another day Before the sun rises over the Great Plains, Tamas and Peter are out on foot. Peter's confident that at last night's high seat there were several bucks, so the boys head back there first. They wait patiently. As the sun begins to rise and burn off the morning mist, a robot comes into the field. Peter gives him a call. But he isn't happy with something and he soon makes a run for it. So close, but yet so far. Peter continues to call and it isn't long before another buck comes. But before he gets close enough, he turns and he's heading off in the opposite direction. With the boys having no luck with the bow, Peter decides to head out with a rifle. He and a friend get set up on the edge of a wooded area overlooking a clearing. And soon enough, a robot comes bounding into the core. It spots them and halts in its run. But it isn't spooked. Peter carefully picks his spot and fires. The buck drops on the spot. A great shot from Peter and within minutes he has a buck. Tamas has been unlucky today and he hasn't quite got into position close enough to take a buck. But Peter has had it out with a rifle and within minutes he's had a buck on the ground. The extra few yards further away that you are can make that shot all that harder and it can make all the difference. If Peter's buck had come in a little closer he may have winded the guys or seen something amiss and then he would have taken off. But, that's the challenge of taking Robux with a bow. You need to get in closer, you need to be more stealthy, and you need a little luck. To find out more about Realtree, their amazing range of patterns, or to join the Realtree online community, and see what the Realtree Pro staff are up to, visit their website, 
realtree.com. And check the Global Hunter section for cool tips, hunting adventures and stalking stories from across the world. To see another great video from Realtree Global Hunting, click on one of the four links. Be sure to subscribe to Team Mar TV for all of the best hunting, shooting and stalking videos on YouTube.